So Kimberly, you want to talk about like the difference in our retreat agendas versus like a typical retreat agenda? Of course, of course. So, you know, most retreats you go on, you get this list of things that you're going to do and explore and you got, you know, it's packed from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. And you kind of almost feel like you're like, <gasps> when you walk through, <laughs> you're like this doesn't feel really retreatish to me. This feels like I'm on an advance. And if I, you know, don't uh, do this, that they're going to ostracize me and I'm, you know, not going to be able to feel included in the group because I'm not participating. Well, Serena and I have been on those types of retreats uh, and we wanted it to almost be the antithesis of that. We wanted to make sure that when you step into an embracing newness experience, you know that you're going to be cared for, that you're going to be loved on, that you're going to sit in luxury, that there's going to be a space of um, reflection. And so we carefully curate how many activities we put in, um, how much rest is there. Uh, everything for us is intentional and we're not just meeting just to meet. But guess what we both know is that every person comes with an individual need. And if the activity that Serena and I have planned is not something that you feel is going to serve you best for your needs, we have no problem with people not showing up. And in fact, we encourage that when we meet in our group um, sessions before we get to the retreat space, we talk about what that looks like and how we want you to in the moment or pre-planned decide what you want to engage in and what's what's needed for you to walk away with your goals and uh, being met. And sometimes that's, I want to hang out with everybody and I want to, you know, experience and have all of these uh, checklists. And then other times you have a moment where you're like, this sounds like it's going to be really fun, but I feel like I'm being called to sit in my room or by the beach or at the mountaintop and write and journal and just be in my own place and space. And so there's a, there's a difference. It's, it's uh, definitely fun, definitely activities plan, but we really want you to walk away with what you want and understand that you can say that at any point in time. And there are absolutely no hard feelings. Yes, yes, yes. So, um, you know, just able to personalize it on that particular level. And because of that, we cap it. Um, we we are, do not do uh, extremely large groups in that nature and um, try to make that go. So Kimberly, yes. what's 2024 looking like? 2024 is looking extremely fun, in my opinion. We just want to